Hey there, my name is Pastor David, your friend. Welcome today again to my YouTube channel. And today I'm doing a video on uh, witchcraft and the law of agreement. Now you must understand that the realm of the spirit is as real as the physical. And the realm of the spirit is more real than the physical. And that's why the Bible said he called it the things which be from the things we be not. He called it the things which are from the things we be not. So the things that are not seen are dictating the things that are seen. Witchcraft and the law of agreement. Before witchcraft can hunt you down, before witchcraft can harm you, before witchcraft can do any form of evil to you, they must bring you into an agreement. They must bring you into an agreement. And uh, I will be telling you how this operates. Now, number one is that witchcraft cannot attack you unless they have a dispute with you unless they have a dispute with you that's number one so if you are the kind of person that you find yourself fighting with someone in your dream or you are always being challenged by another person in your dream someone is always challenging you or you're always fighting in your dream that is witchcraft manipulation trying to get you into a place where there will be disagreement where there will be disagreement so where they will have an occasion of something against you number two is that they force you into an agreement with a thing such as giving you food in the dream the food you eat in the dream could be sickness the food you eat in the dream could add um, an implication of hatred the food you eat in the dream could also have an implication of trouble. So, when they get you to eat, you may just discover in your dream somebody offered you food or you found some food which is not your own, which is not your own, which does not belong to you, and you find yourself eating in your dream. When this continues constantly, you are entering into an agreement with witchcraft. And it may get worse to a point where you are bewitched. You will be acting under an influence. And when this gets so bad, you will discover you have more enemies than friends. You will discover that you are always fighting those who are going to be useful to you. Or those who were once useful to you. Those who were once useful to you. Witchcraft and the law of agreement. Another thing they do is to bring you to have sex in the dream. To have sex in the dream so this is to remove virtue or to remove power or to remove grace from you spiritually so one of the, 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 the witchcraft brings someone into an agreement you may see yourself doing a kind of job you have never done before in the physical realm a kind of hard labor job a kind of dirty job a kind of thing things you can't explain physically positions you've never seen yourself physically you are seeing yourself spiritually in such terrible state. Some people can see themselves as sick in a dream. Some people can see themselves as very poor or doing many a job, terrible jobs in the dream, wearing terrible clothes in the dream or lost in a dream. They are bringing you into subjection, into the reality of what they want you to or where they want you to be. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have watched up to this point, I want you to like. I want you to share. Please share, like, subscribe. Now, how do you tackle the agreement that you enter spiritually? Like, for example, when you eat in your dream, if you, are, if you remember your dream enough, when you wake up and you remember the very food you ate in the dream, you prepare the food, the same food you ate in your dream, and pray over it. You pray over it. When you pray over it, you cancel every agreement as the Spirit of God leads you with sickness, affliction, death, enchantment, whatever it is. You cancel it. 
when you have sex in the dream you need to lead yourself into at least some days of celibacy stay away from sex stay away from unguarded sex with anybody it's very important because whatever is obtained spiritually could easily be manipulated to happen physically and it will have a negative effect so whatever the witch or witchcraft want to do to you they must bring you into an agreement of it they bring you into an agreement of it spiritually so watch your drink carefully watch gifts gifts from friends gifts from people around you watch it carefully there are people that will celebrate around where you are there are people you are living around they are into witchcraft and as such when they celebrate maybe they are naming when they celebrate their birthday when they celebrate their housewarming they are practicing witchcraft whatever they give you whatever they hand over to you as gifts they are bewitched item they are bringing you into poverty for their own wealth they are bringing you into sickness for, for their own health they are giving bringing you into problems for their own success so if you are not spiritually stronger than them if you are not spiritually alert if you are not practicing certain spiritual exercises whatever they did in the gift it will work against you so you will just discover that you used to be very favored you used to be very smart and you know you have you have good star things work easily for you in business but after some time you just discover that those things are not working anymore you have entered into certain agreements in wrong places by certain spiritual people that are stronger than you and they have taken something from you but before they took something from you they have given something to you witchcraft and the law of agreement please share with somebody the world we are is a very spiritual world there are places where you go to for help spiritual help it could be a church it could be a mosque it could be a traditionalist as long as the power is not of god as long as the power is not of god devil does not have a free gift what they do is to bring you into an agreement if you're looking for a baby they may give you baby and take your wealth if you are looking for a job they may give you job and give you another kind of problem so they always keep you in an agreement for whatever thing you are taking from them so i'm going to do part 2 of this video please if you watch up to this session like and subscribe give me a super thanks check my account number help me to build my studio help me to build this channel thank you so much god bless you see you another time i am pastor david your friend god bless you